Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to learn some simple mathematical calculations in R. First of all, you will need to download and install the two basic software required for R programming. To know how to download and install those two software, uh, you will have to watch my lesson number one about R programming, where I have shown you how to download and install these two software. These two softwares are R and R Studio. R is the actual engine where all the programming is actually written and processed. However, R Studio provides you with a graphical user interface for your R language. Actually, R Studio is an IDE, integrated development environment, and it's not a language, it just provides a graphical user interface. The actual language behind R Studio is the R that works behind your R Studio interface. Once you install both of them, then you just need to open R Studio. You don't need to open the R program because R will be working in the background of R Studio. That's why you don't need to open the R program. So now please open your R Studio. In today's lesson number two, we are going to learn some simple mathematical calculations. The symbol you can use in R Studio or in R program for different mathematical operations are for addition, you will have to use this plus sign. For subtraction, this dash sign. Multiplication, is asterisk. For division, slash. To find out the quotient of two numbers, uh, you will have to use percent slash percent. And for finding the remainder of two numbers, you will have to use percent percent. To give preference to one or the other operation in a complex uh, mathematical equation, uh, you will have to use parentheses. So now let's start uh, learning mathematical equations in R. So to open your R Studio, uh, just click on this icon. This is the R Studio icon. Or you can uh, search uh, R Studio here. Just type R S T U D I O R Studio. R Studio will appear here. Then you will just have to click on this. So to open your R Studio, I am going to click on this. Your R Studio will open. This R Studio is a graphical user interface and it is an IDE to your R programming language. This contains mainly four windows, one, window two, window three, and window four. This window is called the source window, or you can call it a scripting area. Here you write your scripts. This is just like a notepad or a word pad, a text editor, you can call it. So you write your script here and then you can run that script by clicking on this run button. The second area is called console area. This is just like a, a DOS. Uh, if you have used DOS command prompt or a command prompt in Windows, you might have used or the Windows PowerShell or you can call it if you are using Linux, then it's like a shell. Here you type your commands directly and then press enter and the result appear in the same window. This third uh, area or this third window is also called history. Whatever functions or whatever processes you uh, do here, the history is created here. This is the fourth window and this is also called a plotting or graphical output window. If you run a command whose output contains a graph, then that graph will appear here. For example, if you are going to see a line plot between two variables, then uh, type the command here. After hitting enter, you will see the output in this window. The line plot, the pi plot, the bar plot, histogram, whatever you, your graph is, it will appear in this area. Today, we are gonna use only this command prompt area that is the console area for simple mathematical equations we are not gonna use this one or this one today so let's start uh, doing some simple mathematical operations first of all let's do some additions so to perform uh, additions for example 5 plus 3 you just need to type 5 plus 3 and then you will have to press enter 
After pressing enter, you will see the output, which is 8. So now let's see a uh, subtraction. For example, 6 minus 2, the result will be 4. After hitting the enter, you will see the result. The result is 4. Now let's do some multiplications. For example, 3 multiplied by, for multiplication, as I already told you, we use the asterisk sign. So 3 multiplied by 4, the result will be 3 for the 12. And for division, you use the slash signs. So for example, I'm using 5 slash 2, suppose. The result will be like 2.5. This is the complete division. But if you don't want to do the division completely and you only need the quotient of the, uh, this 5 divided by 2, then you will have to use another operator symbols that are 5 percent slash percent 2. The answer of this will be different from the answer of this because this does the complete uh, division while this will only show you the quotient of the 5 divided by 2. The quotient will be 2. And if you want to see the remainder after this operation, then you will just need double uh, percent signs. So 5 percent percent 2. The remainder will be 1. This is the remainder. So this is the complete division. And this one is used just for getting the quotient if you don't want to go to complete your division process and this will give you the remainder of the division now let's turn towards some complex mathematical equations suppose we're gonna write 5 into 3 plus 4 this will be 19 because 3 fives are 15 15 and 4 is equal to 9 now let's reverse this statement and type it like 4 plus 5 multiplied by 3. Now, tell me what would be the result now. Will the result be 4 plus 5, 9 and 9 into 3, 27? Will it be 27 or it will remain the same 19? So to see the output, just press enter and see what happens. The result is 19. So R by default performs multiplication first and then addition. Similar is the case with division. It will perform division first and then addition or subtraction. But if you want to perform this plus operation first and then this multiplication, then you will have to enclose this in parentheses. Let's see how to perform this. Parentheses 4 plus 5 close parentheses and then multiplication sign and then 3. Now the result will be 27. Now let's try something else. For example, the same statement 4 plus 5 into 3 and then minus 2 suppose. So what should be the answer? The answer will be it will first multiply 5 and 3. So it will be 15 and then it will add and subtract these two things. So 15, 15 for 19, 19 minus 2 is 17. So the answer must be 17. Now, suppose I want to divide this whole thing. Let's change this 2 with, for example, 3 so that, uh, so that the answer becomes an odd number. So this is now suppose 16 and now I want this whole statement to be divided by 8 suppose so that we see the result as 2. So type it again divided by 8. What do you think? Will the answer be 2? No. The answer will not be 2 because you are dividing this 3 by 8 and then subtracting this whole 3 by 8 from this statement. The answer will be not 2. This is not 2. So it is 18.625. If you want to see your desired answer, that is you want to divide this whole thing by 8, then you will have to enclose this in parentheses. So start parentheses 4 plus 5 into 3 minus 3 and then close parentheses divide by 8. 
now you all your answer will be two this is two now if you wanna uh, as we can see that it performs first this um, multiplication operation and then it does some addition and this subtraction but if you want to do this addition and subtraction first and then the multiplication then you will have to use more parenthesis signs so let's see what how we can do that these are the two main parentheses and then for 4 plus 5 you will have to use two more parentheses and then after that parentheses the multiplication sign and then again two parentheses for 3 minus 3 3 minus 3 so it will first add these two things and then subtract this from this and then it will multiply these two things together but as you can see this 3 minus 3 will be 0 so that 0 when multiplied by 9 it will become 0 so it's not a good a suitable statement uh, now let's change it uh, this 3 suppose to 9 suppose now let's divide it by 8 and now let's press enter and see the result this is the result now what it did it first added these two numbers then subtracted this 3 from 9 and then these two were multiplied and the whole thing was then divided by 8 okay now let's learn how to see the powers I didn't show you in the presentation what to use for the power for power you use this sign let's perform some power operations for example 5 power 3 the result will be 125 similarly 2 power 3 the result will be 8 and suppose we are gonna uh, use some complex statement 2 plus 5 whole power 2 the result will be 49 because it will first add these 2 plus 5 and uh, it will become 7 and power 2 so 7 are 49 if you use this power without adding these parentheses the answer will be different for example 2 plus 5 power 2 the answer is 27 why the answer is 27 because it will first find the square of this 5 and then it will add with 2 so 5 5 are 25 and 25 plus 2 is 27 and now let's see some more very very complicated statement write this complex statement in your r studio and then see the result what happens just press enter after writing this complex statement and your result will be appeared here r can perform the complex most mathematical operations very very easily and in a very short time so that was all for today thank you for watching my videos keep watching in the lesson number three i will show you some more complex mathematical trigonometric and geometric operations for example i will tell you about how to find out cos theta sine tangent theta how to find out log and we will also learn how to find the cube root or the fourth root of something of some number so thank you bye